Now, hear what happens when Esau arrives. Genesis 27, 37. Then Isaac answered and said to Esau, Indeed, I have made Jacob your master, and all his brethren I have given to him as servants, and grain and wine I have sustained him. What shall I do now for you, my son Esau? And Esau said to his father Isaac, Have you only one blessing, my father? Bless me even also, O my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. When a strong desire comes, it rockets you into your dream. Say that. When strong desire comes, it rockets me into my dream. Now let's see how Jacob gains another spectacular victory in his life through dreaming. Jacob went to work for his uncle Laban. Laban had two daughters, Rachel and Leah. Jacob agreed to work seven years free of charge to marry the youngest pretty daughter, Rachel. On the morning after the wedding night, he woke up in the sunshine and saw that his uncle Laban had deceived him and given him the ugly duck, the older sister, Leah. (laughs) So he got married with his eyes closed. (laughs) And the whole honeymoon deal too. Laban immediately gave Rachel to Jacob as well. However, he had to work a further seven years for her. So he worked 14 years for Rachel. Now some years later, Jacob decided to leave Laban and go back to his father's homeland. And his uncle realized that he was blessed by God because of Jacob. And Laban tried to get Jacob to stay and not leave. So Laban said, I'll give you anything you want if you'll stay. Jacob then asked to be given all the sheep and all the goats that are born, spotted, and speckled as his wages. All right, Uncle Laban, all the sheep that are born, that are spotted and speckled, let them be mine. Now, how many... Sheep, have you seen wandering around that look like a little fox terrier? (laughs) Spots all over it. Not many. I haven't seen one yet. Have you? Anybody seen one? So Uncle Laban is too happy to do this deal. Thinking, my poor dumb nephew, he's just blown himself out the water. So since this was unlikely, almost impossible, Laban... Agreed very quickly. Now let's see what happens in Genesis 30, verse 37. Jacob, however, took fresh cut branches from poplar, almond, and plane trees and made white stripes on them by peeling the bark and exposing the white inner wood of the branches. Then he placed the peeled branches in all the watering troughs so that they would be directly in front of the flocks when they came to drink water. When the flocks were in heat and came to drink water, they mated in front of the branches. And they bore young that were streaked and speckled and spotted. Amazing. Now, how many farmers have tried that? Many. And they still have white little woolly lambs. <laughs> Why does it not work today? Well, because it wasn't the sheep actually that caused it to happen. It was Jacob's faith in what he was doing. It was Jacob's vision. It was Jacob's vision, not the sheep's vision, which Jacob thought. But he imagined All of that. 
So in this way, the man grew exceedingly prosperous and came to own large flocks and maidservants and men servants and camels and donkeys because every single sheep <laughs> had spotted and speckled babies. 2 Corinthians 4.18, NIV translation. So fix your eyes not on what is seen. This is the New Testament now. Fix your eyes not on what is seen. Okay? Do not look at the circumstances. Do not look at the problems of life that you are facing. Do not look at your limitations. Do not look at your inabilities, your lack of education, the color of your skin, the lack of friends and contacts. Do not look at the lack of finances. Do not look at your limitations. Thank you for watching Dr. Theo's YouTube channel. We will continue to offer encouraging and life-changing highlights from Dr. Theo's past, present, and future series and messages. Please take the time to like and share the videos. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe to the channel.